Hey guys, Waller D here. We're back for more Mega Man X, and we got some more stages to do. We got three left, actually. And I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do Launch Octopus the stage since it's still there. And this stage is one a little bit harder than the usual ones. Not sure how much harder, but it certainly has its difficulties. But um, let's get a move on. This is probably the first time Mega Man X has treaded water, I think. Probably the only time you be treading water in this game, really, except uh, in one particular spot. Okay, you can die for me, thank you. Ah, damn it. What? Yeah, bastard. You better run. Alright, so basically, if you guys haven't played the Mega Man games, Mega Man jumps a lot higher underwater. Not sure the reason why, but it's it's a very well-known tradition in Mega Man history. And almost fucking died there. <laughs> One part that you need to be careful about this area, um, lots of fucking spikes. And this guy's a bastard too. Oh, what the hell. Usually this is what he's gonna either do. He's gonna send a lot of fucking, uh, little eels, or he'll just suck you in like a little bastard. So let's try to blow him up like, just like that. Let those eels do their thing. Like, no way the hell out of me. Okay, get through here. Watch out for these fish guys. They like to suck you in, but they're pretty easy to kill. You just have to jump. Of course they like to do this game called Pass Along the Mega Man. Alright, so I'm gonna set up their weapon make it a little bit quicker. Oh, I forgot. Oh god, yeah, I almost forgot. Uh, Mega Man doesn't uh, do use fire wave too well. Gosh, fuck you, spikes and frickin' inhaling piece of crap, and I had died three times. That's terrific. Thanks a lot, game. We're gonna keep doing going though. Fucking stage. Ugh. Well, now you know that this stage is mild or somewhat difficult. Okay, so enough seeing that intro yet again. Gotta die sometime, I guess. I was I guess this accounts for all the failures I made in the last page, so... Okay, so again, watch the fucking spikes. Alright. Drop down here. Try not to kill myself, which could very well happen if I'm not careful. Alright, so making some good progress here. Alright, kill these guys. Ah, damn it. Alright. This is usually a best weapon, but apparently, uh, Chameleon Sting is clearly the best. Oh, let's try this. Ah, damn it. Ice well in water. Granted, I don't su get sucked up. Okay, that kinda sucked. Okay, oh crap. I'll just break that apart. If that thing scans you, it kind of does different things, like it'll, like, eject Mega Man out or something, at least with that guy. It's a different case with the other, uh, the purple sub, which is twice as annoying. And also an annoying location, too. Alright, so let's not fail on this bastard. Okay. Ah, fuck you. Come on. Yeah, I'm out of your range. Okay, alright, so he's probably gonna suck me up. Nope, come on. That bastard punk trying to kill me again. And then Mega Man's trying to kill himself. So what I'm gonna do here, since things not cooperate, there we go. Alright, so we wanna jump up here, because I think there might be just that. Okay, so that's not cool. Alright, so I know there's something up there. Maybe it's over here. Or not. Well, in that case, we gotta check out these subs then. Alright, kill this thing real quick. Ow. While avoiding the bombs, of course. You can always use a frickin', uh, tornado. Come on. I prefer this at the moment. Ah, uh, maybe I don't. Okay, tornado it is. 
I could also use a freaking fire wave since I'm above water for change. Now this sub will make a crash landing on some spikes, saving Mega Man some, uh, some, uh, grief if he decides not to do that too well. Oh god, I almost died there. This part, not too bad though. Right now you can make this fight a lot easier if you use the Storm Tornado again. But do we really need it? And of course, this fight's extremely easy if you just get on his back and wail on him with so many pellets that he kind of dies like this. Okay, good. And always uh, keep in track where you are, so, because you might crash landing into some spikes, and that's pretty bad. So just keep an eye on the pillars, and then here's a hard tank over here, so it's uh, it's definitely worth it. Oh, yeah, as long as you land where spots where one of the pillars are, like you'll be fine for that. Okay, so I think there might be something up here, or not. That was not worth it. Okay, so I guess it was just so. And guess what? Someone's a little pissed off. Someone like that little dragon thing's friend, or I would say an eel, whatever you want. Oh, fuck you, bastard. And then you frickin' d go down, swerving off. Hell. Okay, and this guy likes to dig underground, so... Keep in mind where he's coming out. Oh, here he comes. Yeah, he can't do it. He can't do it to me twice, buddy. Oh, shit. Okay. What the hell? That's weird. Okay. Oh, wow. I totally missed it. Oh, shit. Come on. Now just ride this guy and kill him just like that. Alright, sweet. So, kill this mini boss. Get the hell out of here. Have some fun. Probably running these guys. Ah, shit. Damn it, Mega Man! You, didn't, you weren't supposed to do that. All right, so we get through this part, and now we're up to the boss. So this guy's weakness is Rolling Shield, but he doesn't really sh make a sporadic uh, reaction to it. He basically kind of shrugs it off for the most part. He'll flinch. At least. What do you guys say? What the? F oh, you fucking bastard! You're gonna oh, you're gonna get killed by this Rolling Shield just for that. Okay, that's enough. Okay, so of course don't use fire wave. Ah, shit. Now, of course, and of course don't waste your charge shot on him when he's doing his little whirlwind attack. Just wait for him to finish and then blast him. Of course this guy can be a problem. Because his projectiles can be annoyingly hard to dodge. But uh, they're not too bad. I mean, there's been worse. Like Quick Man, or Dare Man, or if you want to... Ow, God, I'm getting killed. Okay, you can stop shooting missiles at me, dick. Okay, I guess I'm going to have to resort to that. Kind of sucky, but oh well. It's giving me a little bit of promise. If he catches you with that little whirlwind move... Oh, you, little ju you jumped at the end, you little bastard. Well, right, I'll think twice. Yeah, you, you can trick me once, but you can't trick me twice. Oh shit. You can't set me up for your next attack, damn it. Alright, grilling his ass. Okay, so yeah, if he gets sucked you into that, uh, there's a good chance you might lose him out unless you get out of it. Right, but here's Launch Octopus. He's certainly one of the harder ones, but by no means too difficult for a good or seasoned Mega Man X player. So yeah, that guy's done. Next, we'll be going to Sting Chameleon stage, and he's, besides uh, Armored Armadillo, he's another annoying character, but uh, certainly not as annoying as Armored Armadillo, because, jeez, it's just long and tedious. Alright, so next time, guys, we'll be taking on Sting Chameleon and seeing what he has to offer in his stage, so thanks for watching, as always, have a great day, and adios.